So let's take a moment and talk about a potential revenue stream. Now what I'm going to show you here is just for Tennessee State Soccer Association sanctioned soccer tournaments. This revenue stream does not include adult leagues, local leagues, rec soccer, field rental fees, practice fees, or any other sport. It doesn't include flag football, ultimate frisbee, or any of those things that could be used for these fields as well. It only includes team fees from TSSA sanctioned tournaments. These numbers don't include parking, concessions, vendors, anything that might be gained from hotels or sales tax revenue or other sources of income. This spreadsheet shows us all of the TSSA sanctioned tournaments. So we've captured every single tournament. What you'll notice is these that are boxed in the green these are tournaments that are of comparable size to what we can expect if those were to be held in Shelbyville. It's not fair to say that we can generate the same kind of revenue in a soccer tournament that somewhere like Murfreesboro or Franklin. So if we take a look at all of those tournaments throughout the season, Tennessee will realize $6.2 just in team fees for weekend soccer tournaments this season. Within a 60 mile radius of Shelbyville, 2.1 million will be generated in tournament fees. And this does not include Alabama, which has a large tournament turnout for the Huntsville tournaments. We expect to be comparable to complexes like Smyrna, Columbia, White House, Oak Ridge, and Cookville, where average tournament income is $55,600. Now, using 55,000 as a starting point, this would equate to about 100 teams and 1,100 players approximately, plus their families to spend on hotels, restaurants, and other retailers over a three-day weekend term. Assuming a modest expenditure of $400 per family, that's $440,000 in local hotel, restaurant, and vendor revenue. This is revenue that does not include the rec soccer leagues, adult soccer leagues, flag football, ultimate frisbee. Soccer with TSSA sanctioned tournaments alone would generate plenty of income. This does not include tournaments that might be for softball or baseball or any of the other sports that are going to be available because soccer is no longer occupying the outfield of softball and baseball fields. 49 of the top 50 cities and 69 counties in the state of Tennessee cannot be wrong. It's time for us to take advantage of this opportunity for our community I strongly suggest that we move forward on approving the funding to match what the state is willing to offer.